crying out loud. All we needed was a spark and a chance. An historic date in West Virginia, October 7th, 2017. Following years of underinvestment in our roads, West Virginians stood together to make a difference, voting 73% in favor of Governor Jim Justice's Roads to Prosperity program. Today, we celebrate the projects made possible by Governor Justice's vision and the progress of the West Virginia Division of Highways toward the world-class transportation system our citizens deserve. This is our chance. You know, uh, the passing of this Rose Bond referendum will launch West Virginia. I'm just going to talk to you like people from all across West Virginia talk to one another. In Wood, Pleasance, Jackson, Work, and Ritchie counties, Wood, Pleasance, Jackson, Work, and Ritchie counties, five counties, there's 72 projects that are going to be let right away. First of all, Wyoming County. It's where my mom and dad grew up, you know. It's home to me. You've been waiting 28 or nine years on the Coalfield Expressway. We're pouring money into our secondary roads and we're trying to do anything and everything we can to get them up to speed and we're buying equipment, you know, so our people, our great highway people will be able to do the jobs. Look around here. This is amazing. This has never happened before with highways to have this much equipment for our guys to get out there and get these roads fixed with. First of all, you've heard a lot of people speak, and I'm sure that they've expounded on the road bond. On Monday, Monday was the second anniversary of the Roads to Prosperity program. We've gone through with the help of these great people over and over and over, all the projects that we, prom that we promised, that were promoted, that were on the website, and every single project we can now say without any question whatsoever, they're all gonna be done. With projects moving forward in all 55 counties, from Corner H to the Coalfields Expressway, from Route 10 to the I-70 bridges in Wheeling, Scott Miller Hill, the I-79 Western Interchange, I-64 widening in Barbersville, Jefferson Road, the I-64 St. Albans Nitro Bridge, and many others. It's the Roads to Prosperity program. To be involved in the Roads to Prosperity program for the last five years, can you believe it? Five years ago today, or during this time of year, the, the governor introduced a magnificent vision for the Department of Transportation that puts the Department of Transportation at the forefront of an economic recovery effort that has been unprecedented. This state was in serious trouble. We, we had budget deficits that were unbelievable. We didn't know what we were going to do. We were looking at cut after cut after cut. And the roads to prosperity being the focal point to take transportation and to rebuild the West Virginia economy, to lead the way with this great bond program to where we could take care of big, regionally significant projects, medium-sized projects, to actually make a big impact on the sixth largest transportation system in the country with all of this, this great opportunity and then still take care of those secondary roads, get back to our roots as a maintenance organization and take care of those secondary roads to get results for the people of West Virginia and build up the system that people drive on, that, that we move goods, people and services on. It, it just, it's just staggering what we've accomplished in five short years. I just hope the bigger people up in Building 5 or the governor or whoever will see this work and give me an A on it. Give us an A on it. Uh, of course, Governor, uh, Governor Justice, for what he's done, um, starting out with 
um, the tours that he made to, to try to get additional funds into highways. It's exciting for me to see the number of complaints go down. Um, when I first started, you know, the roads were in a lot worse shape than they are now. So it's exciting for me to, to see the, the number of complaints go down, hopefully meaning that we are addressing a lot of those concerns that hadn't been able to be addressed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, nothing like anticipation, huh? Governor Justice was here in this very building less than two months ago, and he made a promise. And he's here today to deliver on that promise. Your attention toward the street. How about that? As promised, brand new equipment for District 6. Delivered by the governor himself. What a great day it is to be up in Marshall County. And they're just tickled to death. Plus the old equipment, you know, a lot of the old stuff didn't have air conditioning. And by the time lunchtime was here, you were just wore out, you were wringing wet. But if you're in a nice piece of equipment with air conditioning, then you take care of it. It's going to last for years, and when you get out of it at the end of the day, you're still in pretty good shape. I've only been here 11 years. It's the best job I ever had. The only deal is I'm 70, so how long do I want to work? It's a, it's a great place to work. I wish I'd had this job 40 years ago. They jumped right in. I mean, no questions asked. They, they were pleased to be able to do a lot of work they wasn't able to do you know, previously due to limitations on uh, funding and things of that nature. West Virginia Division of Highways is, is definitely going in the right direction. You know, we're getting equipment in here that we've not had for years. Uh, we're replacing bridges, uh, allocating money towards bridge replacements and bridge renovations that we only dreamed of a few years ago. I know Mason County, where we're at here in particular, we, you know, we've got uh, probably 10 small bridges we're replacing here in the next two years because of uh, the the bridge or the uh, Roads to Prosperity program and, uh, and the people were nice enough to, to vote for, for the bonds uh, and, and we're uh, spending that money towards bridges, towards roads and, and things that we couldn't have done for years. To be honest with you, if, if the Roads to Prosperity isn't the model for this big federal program that they've put out, it certainly should have been because it, it shows you, we already see the impact of investment dollars in transportation. The governor knew it, the governor knew it five years ago, and that's where the vision came from. And you're already seeing big impacts from it. And you're gonna see more and more impacts as we go because these are lasting impacts. These are changes, fundamental changes that have been made from this great Roads to Prosperity program. We have gotten to a point in West Virginia to where being ashamed of the roads we traveled on to now promoting these roads all across the state. Just, I mean, just, just every little bit we're promoting a scenic highway or a byway for motorcycles or it's just taking advantage of what we have here. All those wonderful things that the governor tells us about in West Virginia, those four wonderful seasons, the, the clean, pure, pristine streams, the majestic mountains, everything that we have here, we, we as West Virginians can truly be grateful and I am grateful for the opportunity to have worked on the, on the transportation side of, of, of his vision. And I think, uh, I think the people, when they overwhelmingly supported this referendum, I think, they, I think he communicated that vision to them. I think they could see that vision. And now we're making that vision a reality. I know in your hearts, you love West Virginia and you're West Virginians in every way. And you're gonna have roads that are gonna absolutely bring this area of the world back into real time. You see how that works? The governor says, let's do it and we get it done. 